Hello all, I hope everybody is doing well. So today I want to talk to you today about Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Oh my goodness, if you have not read this book. I grew up, um, my dad had a library full of books and one of his favorite books when I was growing up was Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Now, um, the older I got, you know, who cares about these books when you're young? You're not even thinking about this stuff because you're just going to school or going to college. You're not really thinking about this. Well, at least I wasn't. So I ended up, now that I'm older, you know, searching through YouTube and listening to Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And they have some great fundamental um, ideas that I want to share with you and you may have heard of it so if you are in business for yourself I'm sure you've heard of it I'm sure you've read about it so um, I want to share with those of you that have not a couple of nuggets so stay tuned so let's talk about the book that was created by Robert Kiyosaki in 1997 now 1997 does not seem too far long ago but now that I'm thinking I was probably a teenager when it came out. So I remember seeing this book and I remember having my dad read this book and it having a wealth of knowledge. Now, number one, Robert talks about us relying on a paycheck and how that just messes us up. And he talks about having a rich dad and he talks about having a poor dad and the way that the poor dad was thinking and the way that the rich dad was thinking. So poor dad always thinks, hey, you need to go to school, you need to go to college. And rich dad says, no, that's not the way. This is video number four of changing your mindset. And why do we want to change our mindset? I'm sure you're thinking like, why does she keep making these videos? And I want you to understand that um, you will never reach the level that you want to reach if you just stay doing the exact same thing. So you, those of you that are posting million dollar houses, you're just not gonna get a million dollar house working a nine to five job. You've gotta have a plan B. You've gotta have something on the side that's gonna help you reach your ultimate potential and you've gotta put work into it. So for those of you that think it's not gonna take a lot of work, it's gonna take work. Everything takes a lot of work. So I want you to understand that no matter what you do, you're working your nine to five, you will have to work. You have a side business, you're gonna have to work. And why? Because you wanna reach your full potential. It teaches us fundamentals of knowing what we need to do to make it to where we want to be. So let's just get into it. Number one, invest in yourself. Do not save your money, okay? Whether you invest $20 into yourself, whether you invest $200 into yourself or 500, make sure you invest in yourself, into your future. I invested in my future and I received everything back. So I did, I received everything back plus more. And this is why I'm making these videos because it's real. We think everything is a scam. Get your mind out of the gutter. Not everything is a scam. Not every company wants to take you for your money. I'm in a business that I absolutely love and I cannot tell you enough about it. But the first, the first thing I want you to do is invest in yourself today. Number two, most people work for money. The rich people have money work for them. This is why you see a lot of people on the beach, chilling, relaxing, having their little margaritas. They're just living life up. They have their houses, they have everything because they got out of the nine to five mindset. And that's what we need to do. So number two, make your money work for yourself. And number three, rich people acquire assets and poor people acquire liabilities. Now, what is a liability? Liability is something that you have to continue to pay off, like student debt. Robert talks about this is like number one, that people um, go into college and they acquire a lot of student debt. Now, I never acquired uh, student debt just because um, we live in California and we get our first two years free. Now, if you go, if you already have that debt, think about 
what are you doing to invest in yourself you know to get rid of that debt like now before even continuing another year of school rich people get assets so they go into like uh, the stock market Bitcoin silver they buy houses um, they rent them out uh, rental properties so you're making your money work for yourself or they join a company where they're streaming an income so what are you doing that's gonna benefit yourself okay think about that um, and think about the liabilities I'm not saying you're a poor person if you're watching this I'm just talking about the mindset so our mindset nine to five if we get a house um, get in debt if we get another car we're getting in debt we're just we're living our daily lives to work for money to pay for the liabilities instead of making our money work for us so number three you want to make sure that you are not um, accumulating liabilities and number three rich people acquire assets and poor people acquire liabilities now what is a liability liability is something that you have to continue to pay off like student debt robert talks about this is like number one that people um go into college and they acquire a lot of student debt now i never acquired a uh, student debt just because um, we live in california and we get our first two years free so that was one of mine so i have not gone to a four-year college uh, just because i don't want to acquire the debt that comes with it now if you go if you already have that debt think about what are you doing to invest in yourself you know to get rid of that debt like now before even continuing another year of school so um rich people get assets so they go into like uh the stock market bitcoin silver they buy houses um they rent them out uh, rental properties so you're making your money work for yourself or they join a company where they're streaming an income so what are you doing that's going to benefit yourself okay think about that um and think about the liabilities i'm not saying you're a poor person if you're watching this i'm just talking about the mindset so our mindset nine to five if we get a house um get in debt if we get another car we're getting in debt we're just we're living our daily lives to work for money to pay for the liabilities instead of making our money work for us so number three you want to make sure that you are not um accumulating liabilities well, I hope this video um, encouraged you. I hope it gave you a little bit of information. I would really, really encourage you to read Rich Dad, Poor Dad if you haven't. And if you have, maybe read it again so that you can get some more nuggets out of it. I never read a book once. I always make sure I read it about three or four times because there's so much wealth of knowledge in the books um, from, well, I would say back in my day. <laughs> so make sure that you are um, putting a lot of knowledge in here make sure you're changing that subconscious train your conscious every day I get up in the morning my schedule is I take a shower I pray I pray for my team I pray for the world I just I just go into an in-depth prayer and um, that's really the majority of my time in the mornings and I also like to um, put affirmations like I am strong I am beautiful I am you know not meant to be here for nothing I have a purpose in this life so I just speak affirmations um, into my life I hope that you find this video with some knowledge and I hope that it kind of like what is that word like tickles your mindset <laughs> So, um, you know, I just want you to think about investing in yourself. I want to help so many people. I want them on my team. I just, but you know, if, if people don't believe in themselves, that's something that, you know, we can't make them see. And so I make these videos because I want people to believe in themselves. I want them to know that they have potential to stream an extra income. I'm not telling people to quit their jobs at all because um, you, you obviously need that. 
you know, to pay for your food, your rent, whatever you have. Uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad is basically just Robert talking about his dad who is his poor dad and then a rich dad and nobody ever knows like if this rich dad really exists you know but the important thing is is that he talks about this rich dad and how he's training him up to have a rich mindset and how the poor dad uh just keeping him at that nine to five get a paycheck you know buy a house buy a car just a poor mindset because you're it's you're not reaching your potential i mean think about it when you work a nine to five job you can only probably reach like a manager and you're only going to make you know 25 30 dollars an hour but what if you had the potential to make you know a million dollars a year and i'm thinking really big here you have to think big for yourself you can't put yourself in a small mindset and say okay well i think it'd be really great if i make 30 dollars an hour don't do that to yourself. Think big. It can happen. I have seen people, I talk to people every day that are streaming an income of one to three thousand dollars a month for sharing, you know, our business. And they this is on a part-time basis. This is not them quitting their job. You know, everybody has a job. Don't quit your job. I mean, if you're a millionaire, hey, quit your job. You don't have to, you know, work in you know whatever job that you're working but what i'm saying is is change your mindset believe in yourself you know invest in yourself don't give up when things get hard nothing in life is easy and streaming a second income is going to be work no matter what you have to work and i know in your mind you're like i work 40 hours a week who the heck wants to keep working well if you want more out of your life than work it's just like missionaries like they work 40 hours a week and they're tired and exhausted but guess what they give to others that's like my favorite thing is to like minister to people so I mean that is work and you're working for the Lord so no matter what in life no matter what it is even volunteer work you are working you're giving your all it's very important to realize this so anyways I'm not gonna keep talking and talking God bless you guys. Um, invest in yourself and take care. Bye, guys.